Hello everyone. Welcome to the tutorial on progress bar indicator on salesforce.com by aitechon.com. My name is Sumit and uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you that how can we add a progress indicator on a screen flow in Salesforce. As all of you know that the Salesforce flows, they are the amazing tool that allows you to automate the complex business processes and it also helps to create the custom experience for your users. One key feature of the flow is the ability to guide your users through the processes step by step using a progress bar indicator. In this video, we'll be going to discussing how do we create and customize the progress bar indicator on the Salesforce or Salesforce flows. We'll be going to cover the topics such as how do we add steps to the or flows, how do we configure the progress bar settings, and how do we test and debug the progress bar indicator. So let's get started. And the first of all, we need to create a new flow or edit an existing one. So for testing purpose, I have already created a flow in my instance. And as you can see, that's the flow I have already designed that I've already filled up. And in this flow, as you can see, it's a screen flow. And there are three screens I have added. One screen to capture the account details, one screen to capture contact information, and one screen to capture opportunity information. And whenever we submit the account information, uh, whenever we submit the account information, it will redirect to new contact form. And before redirecting, it will register that account and get the ID. Basically, here, it, uh, as you can see, store the new account ID, that's the ID of an account in a variable. And I named that variable as new account ID. Same thing I have done on the contact object. And finally, on opportunity, we register the opportunity. Let me show you the look and feel of a form, how the form looks like. So on new account form, so I added fields like account name, phone, account type, and industry. And these account type and industry, they are pick list and they will be getting the information, the pick list values directly from the account object, from the pick list object. Then I contact of contact screen. Here I'm going to get info like first name, last name, and contacts form. And new opportunity in order to capture opportunity name, close date, and stage. And while registering the new while registering the contact, as you can see, we will be mapping the contact with the account ID. And same thing we'll be doing with at the time of registering an opportunity. We map the we map the current opportunity with the, the account we registered in a screen one. So in order to know more about this flow, how do we have designed this flow? I'll share a, a separate video for those who would like to know in depth, how do we create this flow? Because this video is about the progress bar indicator. So we are not going deep into this. Now the, the thing is, how do we get the progress bar indicator? And for this, as you can see, there is a dynamic flow progress bar available on, on an app exchange. It's a component, so we have to get this component and install this component in our application so get it get it now open login screen so i'll give permission to login to 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 check the details or to get the details from the salesforce to the, the logged in uh, salesforce instance details And it will begin the installation. So I'm going to I'm going to install this in this org only. It's a it's a development org. So I'm going to design and I'm going to install this in my development org only. So click on install. Check this box, agree, and click on confirm and install. Uh, I'll just make it available for all users and let's begin the installation. It will take few minutes to finalize the settings. So you can see now the installation has completed successfully. I click on done and I just want to cross check. I just want to verify whether this package has been installed or not. So in setup home, I'm just going to search for the packages. 
packages and I click on install package and I can just check it out whether the package has been installed or not. And you can see that dynamic flow progress bar indicator has been installed successfully, configured successfully. Now it's time to use this flow. And how do we do that? We have to refresh this flow. So let me save this flow once and refresh it just to make that flow, uh, make that progress bar component available for this flow. So I just refresh this. No problem. I'll just close this flow bar, flow builder and open again. Let me open that flow again. And the flow is account contact opportunity flow. Now it's time to add the progress bar indicator on screens. So I double click on screen one. And from left side, we have a component. And from the component, I can see, as you can see, the dynamic flow progress. So I drag and drop this flow progress here. I just wanted to drop this flow on the top of the page. So I drop this flow on the top of the page. And we have to specify the name. So name of this flow. So I just write here, let's say, uh, sales flow. And there are three, there are three screens. And for every screen, once every screen, every screen will be mapped with a one step. So I label this as step one. I call it as step one, comma, step two, step three. So there are three steps. And the current step is step one. This is the current step. Uh, if you'd like to display the percentage also that how, how uh, what's the percentage covered by step one, what's the percentage covered by step two, and what's the percentage covered by step three, you can specify the person name or else you can leave this. The most important thing is indicator type. And if you look at this indicator type, we have vertical, horizontal, path, bar, and ring and vertical energy. So right now I'm going to set this as, I'm going to label this as, means I'm going to set the indicator type as horizontal right now. As you can see here, we have horizontal and click on done. Same step we have to follow on, on screen two and screen three. So on new contact, Again, I drag and drop dynamic flow. The name of that flow. So what's the name we have set on account? You can check it out. So it's a sales flow. So I double click. Drag and drop the flow. Sales flow. And sales flow two. Let's label it as one and two and three. Step one, comma, step two, comma, step three. And this is step two and horizontal. Done. And again, the same step we have to follow, we have to repeat on opportunity. Again, we have to add a dynamic flow. And let's say sales flow three, step one, comma, step two, comma, step three. Basically, why are we defining step one, step two, step three? So that when we navigate by using the flow indicator, it will properly display the uh, the, the current status, the current, the current screen. And this one is step three. And again, here also. and click on done. Then save this flow. So once you have configured the progress bar, now we have to test it. And in order to test it, we can run the flow. And the progress bar will guide your user through each step of the process and indicate their progress along the way. So let me, let me check it out. I click on run and let's check it out. So when I click on run, you can see this progress, progress bar indicator is coming in the form of horizontal right now. So this looks like a horizontal and step one. So we have to specify the value. Let's say I'll just label it as test account. And if I click on this one, it helps me to, let's suppose I click on save and next. So it will register a new account and then it will redirect to step number two. So for testing purpose, I have uh, like account object is there and I'm going to register a new account. 
but uh, is it possible to change these styles? Yes, it is possible. We'll do that. But let me register a new account. And as you can see, the account name as Sumit account. Or let's suppose I label this as AI Tech 1 Corp. Or AI Tech 1 Private Limited, for example. Phone number, account type, it's a prospect, and account industry is education. Right now, this record does not exist. As you can see, we do not have any record registered in this name. And when I click on save and next, as you can see, it registered that record and the step one is completed and it redirected to step number two. And first of all, let's check whether record get registered or not. You can see record registered successfully. Now, uh, let's say Sumit, contact number. And now when I click on save and next, so what happened? It will redirect, it will move to step number three, basically to the last screen. And you can see step number one, step number two, step number three. We are on step number, this is the last step which we have to complete. So I just write opportunity for Sumit. And close date, this is going to close. And stages, let's say we are at this stage right now, click on next. And it re, uh, basically it redirects because we don't have further screens. But if I just check it now, that's the account. I click on this account. And when I open this account, we have related contact. We can just check in the related. So we have a related contact and one related opportunity. So that's the way this progress bar indicator will help us to check the current progress, current status. Now, the different style of the, uh, the different types of progress bars we have. Let me change the style for this progress bar. Right now, I set this as uh, horizontal and the other one we have is path so instead of that let me label uh, let me change this to path done here also progress bar and i change this to uh, path same thing we'll be doing this for the opportunity and change this also as path and click on done save this and let me run so now when I run this, let's look at the, see this, step one, step two, step three. So like this way, we create a progress bar indicator. So that's it. In just a few simple steps, you can create a professional looking progress bar indicator on your Salesforce flow. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any queries, if you have any queries, you can post your comments in comment box. You can reach out to us at, uh, on the email ID, or you can reach out to us on the given numbers. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.